Hello and welcome. You are watching the property show news, views, and all the real estate action. We focus on your buy, sell, or investment queries. All this and much, much more on the show. Thank you very much for tuning in. And let's take you straight to the ground with 60 minutes of power pack real estate action with our expert Gaurav Pandey, senior VP and head of research at Prop Equity. Gaurav, thank you so much for joining us as always. Pleasure having you with us. Uh, so don't wait any further. Pick up the phone, call us if you have a property query. You can also reach out to us on property type, property space, your query and send it to 56388 or write into us at property at ndtv.com. Coming up on the show, top of the chart properties in Gorgaon and Noida. Next stop will be Chennai and Bengaluru on our way to explore prime properties. Best plotted developments in Indore and the Chennai Metro Rail is expected to roll out in exactly a year from now. How will this new age mass rapid transit system impact the city's real estate landscape? A special report. All right, uh, coming up, we'll focus on the markets predominantly in Mumbai, Gurgaon and Noeda. And let's bring in our first caller of the show. We have with us Girish Bhatia, who is joining us on the phone line. Girish, hi, welcome to the property show. Please go ahead, ask your question. Hi, this is Girish. Uh, basically, I am looking for a second home in Mumbai, where my budget is around 80 lakhs. Uh, I have mentioned the preferred area which is uh, the suburb side, western suburbs. Mm -hmm. uh, that's where I'm looking at. Uh, I already have pre-approved loans from most of the banks. So I just wanted a suggestion to look for maybe under construction as well. Uh, some mm -hmm. projects that I can put in which can be ready within a period of, say, 15 months and mm -hmm. can be used as an end use later on or slash investment. Girish, have you done some background research about this property market? Have you identified any projects? I have, but the issue that I am coming across is the time, the time taken by these projects. Okay. I have seen a few projects, but then the issue is I'm not sure whether they'll be completed on time. Right. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, Gaurav, the investor seems to be rather little tentative and he seems to be rather cautious before going ahead with this investment. First, projects that he can actually look at and is this a real concern, the time lag? I think first let me acknowledge that, you know, he's, he's, he's very in the right frame of framework of approach you know i think that's what usually investors should you know do that is they should qualify the investments by seeing what's happening on the ground uh, need not rush into just making a decision which is sporadic because it's a long investment game it's not actually a two to three year investment uh, you know kind of an approach and given uh, you know ashu that we've been talking generally of the economic environment and you know the general policy environment it makes sense that you have a five-year holding period and i think his concerns are valid given the fact that many projects have been you know delayed in india so I, I, I acknowledge your approach and in western suburbs, you know, you have within your budget, uh, you know, the, the preferred location that you mailed it to us, which is I think Mulund and Ghatkopar. Uh, Mulund and Ghatkopar are absolutely fine locations and you should surely get some interesting options. Now, the fact that you have an investment, uh, you know, approach in your mind and you will have a secondary approach either to exit maybe later on or even do a self-occupation. I think what you should perhaps do is look at something which is under construction but from a good developer and, you know, which has some track record and a project which has, you know, all major specifications, amenities that you're looking at at the same time, you know, meets your budget as well. So we've done that research and let me give you a snapshot of the micro markets and then come down to our specific recommendations. So let's go one by one, uh, Ghat Koper West and then by Mullen West. Uh, Ghat Koper West has about eight projects, a total supply of about 619 units. Available units would be about 17.1. Uh, and if you just notice the inventory overhang, which is, I think is one of the most important indicators if you're an investor, it's about just 17 months. The weighted average price of this micro market is about 9,099 per square feet. And Ghat Koper is actually strategically located in the central suburbs which connects to western, central and harbour suburbs of Mumbai and Mumbai city and that makes it you know very interesting as a location uh, from an in-use perspective as well as investment. The second micro market uh, that you have is Mulund West, again a very similar number of projects about nine in nature. Uh, the total supply over here is about 2,142 units and available would be about 496 units. Inventory overhang again you know the you know the threshold that we have it's within that range it stands at about 21 months. If you see the weighted average price uh, per square feet this is trading at about 11,270 per square feet and the reason why this has a tad higher price at the moment than Ghat Koper is the price appreciation which has happened in the last two and a half years. So Ghat Koper West has actually appreciated by about 20%, whereas Mulund West has appreciated about 51%. And uh, you know, this location Mulund West is actually attracting a lot of investor interest 
and that's one of the reasons that you see uh, you know the price appreciation especially after h2 2011 has been quite dramatic and you know this kind of appreciation is not really found in many micro markets of mumbai so that makes it very unique uh, we've got three interesting recommendations for you one in ghatkopar west and two in mullen west the first project in recommendation in our list is a project called numic uh, sanskriti from brunwal group it's a reputed developer of uh, mumbai uh, this is in ghatkopar west trading at about 13000 rupees a square feet a very small project uh, actually it has g plus 8 structure and there are one and two bhk flats over here and it also has a gymnasium it has it is about two kilometer from the ghatkopar railway station and within 15 to 20 kilometers you have all major amenities including the international airport and uh, units are actually available from the developers you can go and have a you know word with the developers see the location for yourself and it's surely one interesting option in ghatkopar west coming down to mullen west uh, the first recommendation in mullen west that we have is a project called rupji signature from rupji construction uh, this is trading at about 12000 rupees a square feet uh, relatively cheaper than the first option that we gave it to you, gave you uh, again you notice the unit size is 48 in the entire project and one of the reasons why we saw projects which have lesser number of units is because this mitigates your execution risks uh, which usually happens in larger sets of projects it has all major amenities that you can talk, think of garden swimming pool play area you know very important security intercom and th things like that and if you can uh, you know look at mullen west with a slightly higher unit size perhaps you can look at this option the third recommendation that we have for you is again in mullen west a project called omega from nirmal group again a good developer uh, this is uh, trading at about 12204 rupees a square feet units are available from the developer and it has uh, you know uh, very special offers which you know once in a while runs especially the one bhk apartments and it got it has got some uh, reasonable specifications uh, you know as well and this is uh, you know mullen actually is located on the uh, you know sanjay Gandhi, alongside the sanjay gandhi national park so you know the, the entire location itself is it's got a very different vibe altogether so if you're looking something in, the, in your budget you can look at these options and uh, actually the good thing is that these are well suited for dual purpose you know be it pure investment or even you know end use